is Rachel and I'm here today to talk to you about light. Last week you have heard Nikki talk about Jesus telling us that we needed to be salt in the world and this week we're going to hear what Jesus says about being light in the world. He says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a stand. Instead, they Put it up high, or where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Now, to understand what Jesus is saying, we might want to talk about it in terms of things that are happening in our lives today. Last week, you would have heard that to be salt meant to be a good person and to interact with others. When you have a salt in your food you have to eat it in order to taste it and with light you not only can see it but also it shows everything else around it so if there's a light on a hill then everything around is visible for you as well you might have learned in school about the sun and the moon the sun is a star which is a light source on its own so it shows its light all on its own and that helps us to see during the day. At the night, the moon, which we see as a bright sphere in the sky, is only a reflection of the sun. In the same way, we as Christians are supposed to reflect Jesus in the way we live our lives. Now, light helps us in many ways. It can help guide us and it can show us things when we can't see. If you're in darkness, often it's hard to find your way or you don't know what you're doing. In the olden days, there would be a lighthouse on top of a cliff. So when people brought their boats in, they would be able to see the rocks and they'd be able to steer around them so they didn't get hurt. In our lives, we can be light to show others what to do. Many people may be struggling during this time and they may not know what to do but we can know the right decisions to make and even something as simple as following the government instructions wearing a mask we may find it difficult and it might not be an ideal but we can show others the right way to do things and we can be a light in the world around us Being a light is about knowing God's word and being able to share it with others so they can experience it as well. Everyday interactions, when we're being kind to others, can have a big impact on their lives and can often cause a sort of chain. So if you know someone has made you happy during the day, you might feel that happiness and share it on to others. This way, is the same as the light which when you turn it on it spreads through and it gets rid of all the darkness so I'm going to say a prayer now that will help you through this week dear God I pray that everyone here can help be a light in other people's worlds around them I pray that during this time of confusion they can show their light and Jesus's light in schools and in their homes and wherever they may go. Amen.